Hi, my name's Gordon. For those who know me, hi again. For those who don't, um, I'm Gordon. I am an ex-Jehovah's Witness. I am also an author of the book, The End Is Nigh Again, but this time we really mean it, a book about Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'm also a therapist. And I'm here to talk about, well, really to talk about the title of this video. I know you, you've probably noticed that Jehovah's Witnesses must not watch this video. Okay, and I do it a bit tongue-in-cheek because I know that Jehovah's Witnesses are watching this video. So if you are a Jehovah's Witness, stop watching this video. It's not for you. It's not for you. Or is it? Probably it is now. But why are you watching it? I'm a disfellowshipped. I'm an apostate. Okay, what a lovely name. I'm an apostate. You shouldn't be watching it. Stop it. And if you're one of those other ones, let's, what do we call them? Jehovah's Witness apologists. All right. They're the people who haven't got the balls to be Jehovah's Witnesses. They're kind of on the outskirts, but they tell everyone how wonderful they are and how we shouldn't judge Jehovah's Witnesses because they're lovely people. Well, if you think they're that lovely, get in and be one and stop yattering on about them. Just be a Jehovah's Witness and don't. But don't sit on the fence. You get a spike up your arse if you sit on the fence. Now, so what's this video about? Well, look, I make videos purely for ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. I never make a video for Jehovah's Witnesses. Why? Because I can't be asked, And because I'm not here to help Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses have more than enough help going on in their lives, okay? What I'm interested in is ex-Jehovah's Witnesses because I know what it's like to be an ex-Jehovah's Witness. I've been an ex-Jehovah's Witness longer than I was a Jehovah's Witness. Okay, I know what it's like to be thrown out of your life. I know what it's like to find yourself in a place where you're shunned, where you're treated as though you're dead, where you have no knowledge of the world. You find yourself in this position of naivety. I know what it's like to be depressed, to be absolutely terrified every time you see the news. I know what it's like to not be able to plan for your future because you think you're going to die and what's the point? I know what it's like to be excessive, to drink, to take drugs, to be sexually um, weird. I know what it's all like because I've been there and because every ex-Jehovah's Witness, the ones who have really been conditioned and then thrown out onto the trash pile, they all go through something. They all go through trauma. And that's why I make videos. I make videos to help ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. But the problem is that every video that I make is swamped with comments, not from ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, although I do have comments, people saying, hey, thanks a lot. I've had loads of comments of people saying, thanks a lot, you've really helped. It's just nice to be able to hear somebody who, who understands, okay? But then I've got all of these other comments from these Jehovah's Witness apologists, from Jehovah's Witnesses, all telling me what I'm saying is wrong and how I'm misquoting the Bible and I'm misunderstanding Jehovah's Witnesses, will you bog off? Leave me alone. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Jehovah's Witnesses, well, you've got all... Go and get your support elsewhere, all right? You've got all of your brothers and sisters that will... that give you a lot of backslapping and telling you how wonderful you are until, of course, you misbehave. Then we'll see how much support you get. But at the moment, you've got lots of support. Ex-Jehovah's Witnesses have little or no support. Okay? And they certainly don't get any support from you, do they? Nor from your organisation, your loving, godly organisation. Another thing. I, the next video I'm going to make is about the Bible, okay? And about the ridiculousness that is the Bible. It's a ridiculous book. All right? But every time that I mention something in the Bible, and normally I'm saying it's a load of crap, then suddenly I get these comments of people quoting the Bible to me to prove that the Bible's right. Now, let me just get this in my head here. I say the Bible's not true. And so, to prove that the Bible's true, people then quote passages from the Bible. Now, Forgive me for being naive, but 
Does that make sense? I say the Bible's not true, and they say, well, yeah, but the Bible says this is the one and only true book. That's silly. That's just be you're just being silly, quoting the Bible to me. I don't believe the Bible. Quote me some very, very learned scholar that I actually respect. Quote me other people. Quote me other books. But don't quote the Bible to prove that the Bible's true. It's like McDonald's doing their own survey on the food and telling you that it's the best food in the world, as, as uh, found out by McDonald's. No, you would want somebody else to tell you that McDonald's was good. Obviously it isn't. It's the same. Stop quoting the Bible. I'm not interested. I don't want to hear about the Bible. Look, Bible quotations, I wipe my bottom on your Bible quotations. Stuff them up your own bottom. I don't want them. Okay? Leave them out. You're wasting your time and you're wasting my time. And you know what the, What really, really gets me down? The thing that makes me more angry than anything else? Me. Because every now and again, somebody puts something so stupid on the comments or sends me an email that is so silly, quoting the Bible, that I get drawn into an argument. And I waste valuable minutes of my life trying to talk to a Jehovah's Witness. And I think after, I realise after about three backwards and forwards, when I realise that they would never answer any of my questions, nor do they make any comment on my comments at all. They just blast me with shite from the Bible. And I realise in that moment of, what are you doing, Gordon? What are you doing? Why are you arguing with a Jehovah's Witness? You see, let me tell you, there are some wonderful people. There's this one guy called Tracy Metcalf, and he is absolutely fabulous. He talks to Jehovah's Witnesses and he gets them to leave because he uses the Bible and he shows with the Bible that the doctrine of the Jehovah's Witnesses is wrong. And hey, hats off to him. I think that's marvellous. But it wouldn't be me. You see, I'm, I'm a big picture person. I like to look at the big picture. Getting into the nitty gritty with a Jehovah's Witness. Well, I'd rather have all my skin peeled off and then bathe in vinegar. Talking to a Jehovah's Witness is the equivalent for me of, of watching paint dry. It's horrific. The Jehovah's Witnesses are so steeped in their own belief system that trying to talk to them is just, well, it's just, it's easier to prod a cow with a with a electric prod. No reaction at all. They just, just quote, ad infinitum, the Bible. Blah, 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 blah. That's all they can do. Anyway, so I'm not interested in talking to Jehovah's Witnesses. It's boring for me. I'd much rather just help ex-Jehovah's Witnesses because they're the ones who right now have issues. The Jehovah's Witnesses of now will have issues later on when they get found out for all of the horrible things that they're doing and you are doing horrible things. You're just keeping it quiet. And that's the difference, you see. My belief is this, and it's, it's more than just a belief. It's kind of like a reality for me. Ex-Jehovah's Witnesses are the ones, A, that have been caught, or B, that have actually, through their own conscience, has have admitted to doing something wrong. All the rest of the Jehovah's Witnesses, all of them, all of them, are all doing wrong and keeping it well hidden. And that's why they suffer from so much guilt. They're absolutely riddled with guilt inside and they don't know what to do about it. And so they just keep going, hoping that nobody will see. But somebody does, didn't they? Somebody's always there. Supposedly, anyway. I'll talk about that in the next video. So, it'll be later when they leave, when they get found out, and then they leave and they're, they're thrown out and the family won't talk to them and uh, the, the, all of the friends have gone and they find themselves alone and devastated. That's when they're going to need some help. But for the moment, they don't need help because they're, they're all bigged up because they think they've got God on their side. Well... They haven't got anyone on the side, really. Okay. So, anyway, if you are Jehovah's Witness, why have you watched this video all the way through? I am an apostate. Don't watch any more of my videos. Thank you very much. If you're a Jehovah's Witness apologist, become a Jehovah's Witness. Get in or get out. Get out. But don't sit on the fence 
And don't tell me how wonderful Jehovah's Witnesses are. I was one. I lived with many, many, many. Okay? I know what they are. They're no different. They're no better. They're no worse. Okay? The only problem is they might be a little bit worse because they judge others. They're constantly judging. Okay? And I do believe that, to quote the Bible, I do believe there was a scripture that said, uh, Judge not lest ye be judged. And whether that came from God or not, it obviously whoever wrote it, well, they were a clever person. Yeah. And so that's why the Jehovah's Witnesses probably aren't quite as good as they should be because they do tend to judge rather than just accept. So anyway, that's the end of that. Um, I'm going to bring uh, my next video online soon and it's about the Bible. Good, and I'm really looking forward to, to having a good old chin wag and a good laugh about the ridiculousness that is the Bible. And um, if you are watching as a Jehovah's Witness or a Jehovah's Witness um, supporter, yay, the witnesses, uh, don't comment. There's no need because it's not for you. All right. See you later. Bye bye and take care.